Hey guys, this is Ryan from IamTheKiller.net. I'm going to be showing you the Magic Mouse and Better Touch tool, which allows you to customize your gestures, add third-party ones, and basically get the most out of this mouse because it is an incredible input device. Um, I find myself wanting to use the mouse more than the keyboard anymore. Before it was the opposite, where I would do everything with Quicksilver to uh, do fast little functions, uh, play, pause, iTunes, turn the volume up, turn the volume down, <clears throat> do all sorts of things. So I'm going to get into this. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is iTunes. Um, I've programmed two finger click as the uh, two finger tap, I'm sorry, two finger tap is play pause. Uh, three, fring three finger swipe up and down is volume. So what I can do is turn the volume up and down. Um, it's really nice. Uh, some of the other things is you can go into Safari. Uh, let, let me cover what I just did there. If you noticed, I am, I am just tapping. I can right click by tapping. Uh, I'm not actually clicking. You can hear the difference. Clicking obviously takes a little bit more uh, force. <clears throat> the one of the biggest gripes with the original well with the mighty mouse I'm gonna try not to confuse them is that in order to right click you had to specifically lift up your hand and push down on the right side of the mouse now that is still pretty much present within um, the magic mouse but now with the addition of right tapping it's it's so much easier um, now I'm not, you know, pissed off every time I try to right click. I can easily right click just by, you know, tapping my fingers. And because you're using a different style of, you know, uh, trying to, you know, use your mouse, you're not, you're not constantly keeping your fingers on it as much. At least that's what I feel um, in my testing of this mouse. Right tapping is so much easier to do than right clicking, and it's you know it you you do it without even thinking so these are the back and forward functions um, two finger swipe left and right you can completely customize these to whatever you want um, what you can do what I do is I customize my gestures to send custom keystrokes to Quicksilver to ultimately accomplish my goal um, for example the two finger tap is running through Quicksilver um, so what I do is I, I set up a trigger within Quicksilver to do um, play pause of iTunes. Uh, let's see, if, uh, play pause. There's iTunes, and that is Shift Command A. And so let me go into Better Touch Tool so I can show you exactly how this all works. Clicking and dragging still requires you to do the old-fashioned. Uh, press down and hold. I haven't figured out how to do it with just tapping, but I'm sure you can do it. So I'm going to bring this up. So here are my gestures. Um, single finger left tap, that's just a regular click um, without actually having to click. Same thing with the right, except on the other side. Uh, these three fingers swipe up and down, that increases and lowers the iTunes volume. Um, I'm using a digital receiver on my Mac, so I, I don't worry about the audio of the system per se. I, I worry about the audio of iTunes. Two finger tap, that's, uh, we, I already covered that, that's command shift A that allows me to um, play and pause iTunes. Uh, so if you go into the mouse, under general you can increase the mouse speed. Uh, this is how fast it goes around the screen. The I'm 11 point five times faster than the highest speed that Apple allows you to go just to show you how slow the mouse is. You need an application that increases the speed of this mouse because it is incredibly slow. Um, so here you can you can adjust on which side of the mouse is a left and a right click. Uh, that's really important. So far I have it left um, default swipes. Uh, I haven't messed with any of this sensitivity or anything like that. Uh, the ignore portion, ignore portion is really nice because if you have an area that constantly gives you errors, um, I'm actually going to check this three finger taps. Um, 
if you have a side, you know, you constantly screw up, you can, you can, you know, adjust that. Uh, this is the full customization of the one and two finger taps or tip taps. Um, so this lets you, you know, change your settings if you want to tap harder to register a tap, tap lighter, and how, how, you know, the time in between a tap and putting your finger back down. You can also adjust the sensitivity. Three finger taps, uh, I haven't adjusted any of this. And then there's other gestures such as zoom, which you can do. Um, zooming is really nice. So yeah, this is a uh, better touch tool. It's an awesome application. I, I would not, you know, you go to blog.boaster.net to download it. Out of all the other, you know, Magic Mouse um, add-ons I've seen, this is by far one of the, you know, most polished and easily customizable. Um, you can see you can have application specific gestures which is really nice because I use some for Safari. Um, I haven't really gotten into you know advanced gestures um, but I'm sure I will the more I use this mouse I've had it all of today. So yeah get the most out of your magic mouse with better touch tool. Um, I'll have a link to their site on my website and you can check it out there. So thanks for watching.